Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I mix thick and dye to paint on fabric. So the things you're going to need is water, dye, um, I use a mixing thing, if this is a magic bullet. Um, you're going to need sodium alginate and I'm going to use urea. You don't absolutely need this, but I have it, so I'm going to use it. It uh, helps dissolve dye and then is also a humectant, which means it draws moisture from the air back into the dye so it doesn't dry out while you're painting. And a measuring spoon. Everything you see here is only used for dye. I never use it for food again after this. So um, this is about 10 to 12 ounces of water. And to that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of urea. Could be saying that wrong, by the way. Who knows? And then I'm going to be adding maybe like half a teaspoon of the sodium alginate to begin with, and I add more as it's needed. I'm just going to screw on the lid. This is going to be loud. You're going to want it to be the consistency of paint that you would paint onto a wall. But the hard part about that is you don't want it too thick when it is here because you're going to refrigerate it for about an hour before you use it. And as it gets cold, it also thickens up. So you want it just below the paint thickness when you put it in. If you get it too thick, you can add water. And if it's too thin, you add more of this, which is the sodium alginate. My camera died. Or stopped. <laughs> well, that looks pretty good. It could probably use a little bit more. So I'm gonna do it a little bit more one more time. So that's been a total of about a teaspoon, plus maybe like an eighth of a teaspoon. One more time, I'm sorry. That's looking pretty good. I usually test it with a spoon and before it's refrigerated it should kind of fall off and be a little bit liquidy. Um, I don't know if you can even see this. It's like it, the consistency of heavy cream maybe. So not quite paintable. If you used this right now you would get a lot of spread in your dye. Um, that's why you refrigerate it and let it do a little bit more. So at this point, since I made a pretty big batch, um, if I'm doing something with a lot of colors, I will pour this into separate containers and then mix in my powdered dye that way. But today I need a lot of black for a few projects I'm working on, so I am going to go ahead and put this back on with the black. So I'm going to use a lot so that I get a really dark black. That was like a heaping tablespoon. And I'm going to do a little bit more here. You can mix it by hand with like this or a fork even, but I find that it usually ends up chunky unless you're willing to spend a lot of time mixing. So I bought this, I think I may have got it for free from my mom who was giving it away, um, and I only use it for dye which is why it is filthy. Okay, so 
this is really dark black matches this or darker this is the point that you would put it in I use a Tupperware from the dollar store as a three pack for a dollar um, dump this in and then you're gonna seal it with the lid and refrigerate it you can use it for a couple of weeks after but it may start to lose the really dark black if you save it for too long or if you leave it out on the counter so you want to refrigerate it and use it within about two to three weeks I find is best you can use it after that but it may just not be quite as black as it was initially so that is how you make thickened dye I hope this helps anyone who wants to try it out it's really fun and you can do a ton of stuff with it so I hope you'll try and I want to see your stuff so if you do something please post a picture I'd love to see it bye guys